heart this is why we as a Christians we have anger we get upset uh, to see people deceived, to see people being uh, Muslim torture, Muslim kill, Muslim cut hands, Muslim stone people, Muslim uh, kidnap women, Muslim raping children. And that will make you generate a lot of hatred in your heart. But the reality is, even those who they are terrorists, they are victims of the devil Muhammad. In their mind, they think they are doing good. You see, the Messiah spoke about this. He says, time will come. And people will think by killing you, they are doing a favor to God. Anyone can remind me which verse is that? I will read that for you. Time will come. And people, they think, they think by killing you. That's what they think. They are doing favor to God. This is exactly what they think. They think when they kill you, they are doing favor to God. The Lord, he never spoke a word and never happened. He knew how Satan misled people and how Satan used people, make them think that they are serving God. So we have always to remember that we, we, we are fighting the devil by fighting Islam. But the most important is, is to save Muslims. We fight the devil so we can save them. The devil is not our target himself because I cannot defeat the devil by a war. The devil will be defeated by God himself. The devil is very powerful. I cannot kill him. I cannot finish him. I cannot get rid of him. He's going to be there. Before I was born, he was there. Before I die, after I die, he will be there. So the only one who have a victory over the devil is going to be the Lord. My victory is to save as many as I can from the mouth of the devil. Somebody trying to call, let us see. Hello? Please mute uh, Rumble. Okay, okay, I did. All right. Uh, are you hello, a Muslim? How are you? I'm fine. Are you a Muslim? Uh, I was a Muslim. I left Islam last year. Why you left Islam? I I don't know how should, where should I start. There are, for me personally, a lot of reasons. I'm watching your videos uh, since a few months and also other um, Christian uh, Christian people who talk about Islam. But let me start about the person Muhammad. How okay. can I take someone as, um, as an idol that married a little child? Yeah. I, I couldn't believe that when I uh, read the hadiths about uh, Aisha. Yeah. But you know, you see women now, Aisha, she became big because she ate cucumber. I mean, yes, come on. Yes, and dates, fresh dates to gain some weight. Yeah, yeah. And her mom, she was feeding her every day. So you cannot say the same. You know, look, okay, let's listen. I know, mm. I know uh, one of my cousins, he was like uh, two foot tall. Yes. His mom, she started feeding him date and a cucumber. Second day in the morning, not second year. Second day in the morning, he was six foot tall. I swear by Allah, this is a true story. <laughs> hmm. I cannot understand it. Uh, I uh, talked about uh, other uh, about uh, to my friends about this topic. They claimed that um, that back uh, that in the uh, that in the past it was normal, but that's not true. I showed them for example showed them for example Sahih Al Bukhari six nine thirty, mm -hmm. and it clearly says that she was a little child which not reached her poverty. Mm -hmm. And there's also a reference to Fatul Bari. As far as I know, it was the book of... Um, okay, uh, just, co just, cor Bari. just correction, hold on. Yes, at uh, that time, Aisha, she don't have uh, her bleeding yet from her private part, yes. but she bleed from her nose. Because always she play with her yeah. nose. That make her a woman, because women, they can be women, 
in either way, either from if when they have their period or if they bleed from their nose. So if you know somebody, he bleeds from his nose, he's already mature. See how I refuted you? Here we go. I got you busted. <laughs> you busted me, CP. You got me. <laughs> but the joke aside, uh, for me personally, it's very sad that a lot of people uh, following this religion. I mean, what the hell is wrong with them? I, I, that's in, not only this case. I, uh, my parents, they, uh, they say Islam is, um, how should I say, peace and so on. I told them, no, it is not. Because they yeah. don't know, and to be honest, Mr. CP, um, they only know the Quran. They don't know anything about hadiths and tafsirs. They don't know these things. I, for example, I talked about the topic Aisha. My mother wouldn't uh, wouldn't want to listen about it, and that's sad. Yeah. Well, uh, for how long you are listening to me, uh, my friend? Abu. Um, back, back, uh, I, I, I didn't understand you. Can you repeat yourself, please? Uh, for how long you listen to or uh, watch my videos? Um, I am honest to you, love, since uh, last year, because okay. there's, uh, there is, there was, there's an, also an ex-Muslim, with which his name is Amir, and uh, he's Iran. Uh, he is from Iran. Yeah. He left Islam ten years ago, and he is now Christian, and he is always talking about you and about your books. And I, yeah, I, I met okay. I met Amir yeah. I met Amir in person actually. I went to Germany and we did live together actually. Really? We, yeah, we did I once did. Uh, we did once live together. He came to the apartment I was staying in, him and his brother and other uh, uh, brother with them, and we had mm -hmm. a live broadcast uh, from the apartment I was I was staying in. Yeah. Yeah, but to be honest. Um... A lot of people, uh, for for especially where I live, they are scared about you because they always claim that you are lying and so on. But to be honest, these sources you are mentioning, that these are their sources. Yeah, well, if, if if I'm lying, that means their source is a is a is a source of lying, you know, because everything I say is there, you know. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. Mr. CP, uh, can you do me a favor, please? Can you show the audience Sunan and Nasai three one seven seven? An Nisa'i three one seven seven. Okay, hold seven on. seven. Yes, please. An Nisa'i. Is that the the number the Arabic uh, uh, number uh, version of it or the English? Uh, it is the English for uh, the internet site sunnah.com. Okay, the number again. Uh, okay, uh, Sunnah and Nisa'i three one seven seven. Three one seven seven. All right. Okay. Because this I hadith see. was one of the main reasons why I left Islam. I uh, couldn't believe this. Why, you are a Turkish? Uh, yes, uh, I have Turkish descendants. Oh, okay. Yeah, you see here, this is another proof that when Muhammad, he claimed, or the Muhammadan, they claim, that Muhammad, he said that he will conquer uh, Constantinople. He, he, this is not true because he was speaking to the Arab, not he did not they mention the Turkish. Yeah. Yes. And, 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 then, and then he went yes. to invasion and he failed. You know, he invaded uh, Tabuk. The purpose is to go all the way to uh, Constantinia and he failed. The hadith you are choosing actually can be found even in Sahih Muslim, not only in an Nisai. And it says here, the last hour would not come until the Muslim fight with the Turks. People who their faces would be like a hammered shield wearing clothes of hair and walking with shoes of hair. So Muhammad here making fun of the Asian people because remember, the Turkish at that time, they are not mixed with the European uh, and this is why they are just pure Asian. So he's making fun yes, of their look. Yeah. That's uh, that's true. But I, uh, to, to be honest, the reason why I mentioned, um, can you wait a second, please? All right. Anne, müsaade edelim şu anda. Yeah. And the thing is, uh, I have to, I have to call. Sorry, Mr. Prince. It's all right. No problem. Okay. See you. Uh, see you soon. I will can call you back. Sure. Sure. No problem. Bye. All right. I have many Turkish actually. They contacted me uh, to express their uh, uh, gratitude and uh, they are thankful for what we do. And they left Islam after watching my videos or reading my books. Uh, 
Do we have any Muslim want to take the challenge and prove us wrong? As you see, Islam is collective.